What comes next for silver? $15 per ounce or $25 per ounce? Let's do a review of the week in silver, but also let's talk about some major news stories and factors that will affect silver specifically. As we head into the coming months, quarters, and years, thanks for joining me in Ron's basement. Let's get started right now. Silver, silver. This video is only about silver. It started the week at $20.33 and ended the week at $19.84, down about 2%. Did I have a perm in my hair when I was younger? I'll reveal that at the end of the video. The silver ETF went from 26.38 all the way down to 26.24. It was roughly even for the week, so the mining stocks, the silver mining stocks, kind of held their own. Important to remember, three years ago, the price of silver, $15 per ounce. However, so the price was $5 lower three years ago, the silver mining stocks were higher at that point, so many of the mining stocks are still presenting astounding opportunity, but they can, of course, go lower, especially if we happen to have some struggle with the silver price. One thing for sure, we're gonna find out. I'll be here with you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell notification, leave a comment below, share it anywhere you like. Now let's move on to some interesting news events, factors that are going to affect the price of silver in the coming months and years. The silver to S&P 500 ratio is at 20 year lows. What that means is it takes more ounces of silver right now to buy one unit of the S&P 500 than it has at any time in the last 20 years, these things fluctuate, right? So as it moves back to a more normal range, that could literally mean major, major multiple times increases in the price of silver and or major de decreases in the S&P 500. I'll be voting for the former. You need to look at demand if you're gonna look at the price of silver. And what do we know about demand right now? We know that premiums are still sky high at or near all time highs. That means the demand, investment demand for physical silver is very, very robust. That's what we're hearing from all the major dealers. We even heard about this $50 million order from a billionaire a couple weeks ago. But if you talk to any bullion dealer, they're gonna tell you the demand for physical silver is still very robust. Now we have the potential of this big infrastructure bill, whatever the heck, anti-inflation bill, whatever the White House is trying to sell it as. It's weird to me, but nonetheless, a big part of that would include some funding for solar. Even without that bill, the demand for silver from the solar industry is exploding. If that bill were to pass, it could create even additional demand for silver because it's a primary critical component to any solar panel that's manufactured throughout the world. Additionally, we know that as the world becomes more electric, electric vehicles, electronics, silver is a critical component to all of those areas and will also continue to provide robust demand for our friend silver, but probably the most important Story of the week. Congratulations to the Reddit Wall Street Silver community. They reached 200,000 subscribers or members, whatever you want to call it. 200,000 people. This is a Reddit community specifically dedicated to silver, stacking physical silver, involvement in the silver market. 200,000 people, I think it's been like a year and a half. That's a lot of people that are enthusiasts about silver. The investment demand, I believe, will only continue to grow, especially when the paper price blows up, because we all know that there's 400 contracts, paper contracts, for each one little real ounce of silver that they have at these major exchanges. Now let's look at the supply of silver. Supply, supply, supply. How's that looking? 
Well, again, at the COMEX, they have a shrinking inventory of silver backing up the actual uh, paper contracts they have. That inventory continues to shrink at these major exchanges, okay? But most important, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, but we got a statistic this week that between 2016 and 2021, output from the silver mines decreased by almost 9%. That's pretty big. That's like one in 10, okay? Ounces that are missing, the, 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 the output from these mines is going down. They can't find the silver. They can't get the mines permitted. They can't get them financed. It's, you know, in the long run, this decreased supply will play just as important of a factor, it gets it gets pushed to the side, but there is a decreasing supply of silver. Supply, demand. In here, that's happy land for all of us silver investors. So that's what happened this week in the world of silver. It's gonna be an interesting run in the following months. My money is on, we hit $25 per ounce, before we hit $15 per ounce, but we know anything is possible. And I do want to mention gold just one time. And my friends at Goldman Sachs, who still maintain a $2,500 price target on gold by the end of the year. If gold gets to $2,500, silver's getting to at least $29.93. You heard it here first. Hey, until next time, Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.